morning everybody and once again welcome back in the today's session day number 28 and now we are almost at the end of the session in the last 27 days we discuss a lot about the itsm we discuss about service now itl4 practices sorry processes operate maintain improve all the things we see we discuss about incident management we discuss about problem management we discuss about change as well how they are interrelated how their demos how their workflows how their form how their fields are working all these three modules incident change and problem what we discuss are mainly for the internal teams when i say the internal teams i am referring here to the full filler group that someone there is incident and the full filler group work on that particular record and get it sort get sorted out if it is an incident team need to be try to resolve it it if it is a problem need to find out the root cause and res resolve it change need to be deployed it this release again need to be deployed it but now we are starting a very interesting topic and generally and not generally even though i am saying in my experience till the date i thought it is like srm service request management but my understanding was wrong actually the correct name of this module or this application is called sc and rm catalog service catalog and request management it come under the operate it services what this mean operate it services it is like how you can run your business so that you can get people you can get so you can you can get work kind of thing is basically come in the operate like if i say okay tejas how you are operating your work yeah so that's that's fine i'm working from home going office three days or two days a traveling include i have a laptop i have a getting these 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 things means operate means it's a it's a running way if you did not operate maybe you will not get salary you will not get job in the same manner to operate the business to run the it services not the business is a very big term to run the it services we have a operate where someone come and request as the word say request management so carefully listen this thing that request never be resolved request never be deployed request never be okay yeah resolve right okay i done that part request is always fulfilled request is always fulfilled you requested me i requested you hey could you please join my batch if you join you fulfill my you fulfill my request if you ask me so i want to join your batch if i say okay you can i fulfill your request incident can get resolved because incident something that which has a break in the service so i have to fix it but request is always get fulfilled you need you get it you need you get it you are having a lunch and your mom is giving making the chapati side by side mom i will take one more to fulfill your hunger you are eating and suddenly someone or or maybe a small kid put a glass of water in your plate and you get up it's a break in the services so there is a difference in these two terms don't get confused incident never get fulfilled always get resolved request never get resolved always get fulfilled 
a very interesting topic, a very, very, very interesting topic because this particular concept is mainly from the end user perspective that how end user and when I say end user means how my business user are going to be used this particular stuff. OK. So to understand these things I have to understand this concept. We have like catalog database, data structure, role experience, catalog builder, demo and all of things will be there. But let's understand that why this is two words catalog and request. For this come here. OK. Let's say I'm here now. And I'm open. OK. I come here, I open this website and I'm ordering something. This one. I want to buy this. You so don't want to buy this. OK. And then I say. It is gone. Uh, but only ship to UK, but there is the option to add in cart. OK, add to me list. This one. Oh, -ho. when I click add to me list, it is coming in my cart. Or I can say. These things which are able to see here. Are the different different catalogs. Let's say I want to be go for the music. These are the different different catalogs available. Not here. Come on. Toys and games. This are the different different catalogs available. When I click on this and add in my card, it become catalog. That okay, these catalog or these catalog items. I selected and when I click on this and get order, it become request. So these two words make it as make it this as a service catalog and a request that how a end user will able to make a request and then how that request can be fulfilled. Example, let's say Tejas joined a new company. Tejas manager says, OK, Tejas, welcome. Please raise the request for a laptop. Tejas says, sorry, boss, I'm new in the industry. I don't know that where to go and how to raise a request. Then his manager says, OK, do one thing. Go to this particular link. Go to under laptops. And then there is a request. These things which you are ordering is the catalog item. Let's let's little bit understand more. Tejas and family go to restaurant. And now this restaurant also have a very big catalogs menu card. Catalog is nothing. It's a menu card. OK, starter. Main course. Drinks, mocktails, cocktails. Juice, ice cream, desserts. Multiple options are there. But they just order only one item. Can you get one? Golden for me, Pepsi. He did not order the complete catalog category. Hey, can you bring the cold drinks for me? A better is okay, sir. What which one? You give a specific item name. So I as a user, I as an end user never order the catalog. I always order the last item in that catalog. It's called the catalog item. In the main course, you have a lot of stuff. Dal makhani, biryani, mixed veg, rice, chapati and all things. Did you? Tell to waiter, hey, bring all the uh, bring this uh, main course. No, you say 
from the main course bring this dal makhani from the rice bring the pulao from the soup bring this and then he added in his ipad or some device or written and once he put okay sir anything else no he put a request to the chef it become request request is on the table number 7 five items will be going and those five items break in the five different different records and they become ritm overall is overall record is called the request and on the individual level from this item level it become ritm maybe to bring the cool drink he to be just go to the kitchen open the fridge take the bottle from the opener open it put in the glass and bring it so this is the last thing has been done when you want to fulfill a request you need to be work on the task order done it go to the chef now chef will say to junior chef okay bring paneer make this gravy bring rice cut the vegetable and put as a pulao different ritms can have a different steps making a cup of tea has a different steps than making a cup of sorry making a plate of rice so tasks are the last one it means now now i'm sure you understand that in the incident we have a task in the problem we have a task in the change we have a task in the release we have a task and in the catalog and request payment we have a task task is a very 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 important factor or application or i can say multi application not application basically component even though not that application available is very important application in service now this is what the breakdown of the complete work is called the task clear any doubt anybody good door fundamentals understand this part in the catalog management this deal with almost every every what i can say module and a user can and a end user can request please put it in full screen at all uh let me try do you want to see this one right yes okay let me do one thing now it's fine for us yes better thank you okay so i am here as a end user and i am the one who are using this module this application is used by the end users atul do you provide any training my wife will not ask i will not ask to myself you guys who are available in market will ask this question to me so earlier what happened when i started this training concept if someone ping i i write the complete message yes i provide the training this is the content then i said yeah that's too much in a day if 10 people are responding me at least first part the second part is common for everybody are you providing training what content it cover what fees and when is the next batch starting then i then i define a standard message now if someone ping me i just put that message first which includes that what training i provide what is the schedule what is the fees and when the next batch expected so you as a end user you as a business user come to me and checking on this part you will not believe someone recommended me during my training atul you should have a website now 
so that instead of people reaching out to you, they can reach to your website and then you will get information and you can reach out back to them. I said, sorry, was it's tough to maintain me a lot of a lot of things. He said, no, no, I will develop his his wife was uh, in the web development. I will develop it for you. I'll give you the I'll put the host. You can have a complete control of this. I said, not my cup of tea. Not that much interested that I have a website and then maintain all the things. But the only thing is that so that everybody can. All the users who want to know about. My trainings can go to that website. So this SC and RM has interaction with everybody. Here. How we change because standard change has been raised by this particular concept. Incident, how the incident get raised. There's a concept called the record producer. Is used to raise the incident in the end user. Sorry, at the portal level. I'll, I'll show you that how it's work. SPM, if you want to add new service offering, if tomorrow I want to be start a new batch of the new content, I can put on my website. Guys, admin done, ITSM done. If anybody need any new batch or I'm sorry, needs content, I'm available. Release to update and to enhance or to add new services or remove few services or the old services. For the knowledge, you can add the content item. It's not knowledge item, it's a content item. And last, CMDB to update. Don't discuss this part. I'll, I'll come on this thing practically. Then what is content item? Okay, CMDB to update your CIs. To create new CI requests can come from the end user via this port. Now if I come here and say, okay, incident, I can raise it from here. I can go here and I can raise the incident, but how I can raise a request? So service now provide me a concept called the service portal, which we show in the short we call as a SP. When you get the service now instance, you will get this portal out of the box. And you can customize it if required. But portal customization is a time taking a hectic one and it's it's more than JavaScript it required Angular JS, HTML, CSS knowledge. Because it's 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 nothing. I'm saying it's portal. Maybe you can say oh, it's a website. Yes, it's a website normal. And I as the end user will go log in here and click on the request. Sorry, click on the catalog. And then I click on browse category. You go to the restaurant. He give you two different menus. One for the drinks, one for the food. This is what I'm talking. Catalog, two different catalog means one for the food and one for the drinks. And under food, you have few categories. Under drinks, you have a few categories. This is what the category I'm saying. Maybe under category, you have further categories as well. Drinks, alcohol, alcoholic, non-alcoholic. Generally, they call the mocktails. But still, mocktail have these, these concepts. So you can say alcohol and non-alcohol. And under that, you will get the final item which you want to be ordered. So this is what the items you want to order it. Let's say I am at hardware, I am at mobile, and I want to be ordered this iPhone 13. You order this thing, not the mobiles. Under the mobile category, you get this thing. OK, so as an end user, I click on this order now. And my work or my request gets submitted. And multiple things work in the background to 
fulfill this request. OK. Uh, one thing which I want to be discuss here. Ah, this particular concept service catalog under request management is completely driven by the workflows. Completely driven by the workflows. Because it is like an automation part. Why why work uh, workflows are the flows? Because it has a sequence of things need to be done. Do you think that if, if I click on this, OK, I need a phone, I need a iPhone. Monthly data is this one. I need a midnight. I need a 512 GB. Click order now. Check out. How this request will get fulfilled? Copy it. Sorry. This is request. Copy it. Come here and search. <clears throat> This is request. If you scroll down, you get an item here. And under this item, we have a task. See. Same task need to be created if either Surbhi is ordering, either uh, Samira is ordering, either Farah is ordering, either Tejas is ordering. So you cannot say, you cannot put anybody here who will create the task manually. So it will be done via the workflows always. Completely means if someone says that where is the maximum workflows has been used or benefit, you can say it's a request management. Even though in the change also we are using the workflow. But change model change this concept now. But here it's totally workflow driven. Now let's understand. I'm not going to demo now. Let's understand a little bit more about this. OK. With the life cycle gone. Oh, I didn't know this one. Here. Yeah. It is a four step life cycle. The first one says submit tell. Where? He's just putting on the bit. OK, thanks. Will you as the end user browse the catalog, browse the items and finally order it and fill the form. So what we did just now. I browse the catalog, I browse the item and fill my form. This is what the submitter where the submission has been done. Then approval. When Surbhi was kid, Around she was studying in seventh, eighth class. She can spend up to 10 rupees money without the approval. So we start job earning good. She did not ask to her parents when she wanted to spend more than 10,000. But now she is married as well. She want to buy a house. And the house cost not in thousands, it's in the lakhs. So to do this path, to do this, this thing, she may required approval. I'm putting may, don't take my example anyways, because as a wife, wife don't require any approvals. But in a business scenario, there's no concern of the may, either yes, either no. So if I order a phone, from here. It is required work. It is required approval. Then in the second phase, we go for the approval management. Either reject, either approve. There is a no concept called the maybe. I am happy, but I am not be. Either you are happy, either you are not happy. Simple, very simple on that part. OK. And again, approvals are generated from the Workflow. Who decide that I need approval on this catalog item or not? Is business. Like in in UK, if I go in a grocery shop, generally here in the grocery shop you will get wines or 
whiskey is very easily even tobacco waves you are getting get, getting easily but every wine has a security lock and it cannot be sell less than 18 years old person so if you as a student is going to buy that product you have to be sure your identity that you are more than 18 years but now like i go with my family i have a kid as well if i even though i don't drink if i bring that and come to the counter they will not ask me the proof because by seeing me that old age guy with white beard is more than 18 they just open that security lock and i can get the bill and done so approval is decided by the business that for which particular request item i need approval and then in the third step is called the fulfillment and it's all about the task which task will get generated who will work on that task and update the task and finally closer in this a sequence is different if you close the all task your item get closed and your request get closed it's not like from the above it's like from the reverse first task get closed then item get closed and then request get closed important from the all the life cycles are important from the examination perspective this is very very high level bullet points i mentioned but if you if you go for this training you will find a more written part english written part in these life cycle steps so you have to be go through that part as well clear everybody any doubt most yes, easy these are yes, most yes. okay let's come to the very important point okay this thing in this particular request sorry not request service catalog and request management two things are different the first part is your this thing let me come here and catalog browse the first part is this thing how to show the date how to show the items and second part is this request two different things that is the reason i'm saying it is not only a request management it is service catalog and the request management until unless i'll give an example let's say and generally i, I give this example in all my trainings let's say surbhi and his family she is also in uk she go to the restaurant okay it was a friday evening work done they all go to the dinner waiter come and put the menu card Let, let's go to the layman part waiter come and put the menu card in the menu card it was mentioned main course five or seven items drinks 10 to 20 items starters seven to eight items dessert nothing has been mentioned only dessert has been mentioned now do you think that it is very good to just tell to user have you we have desserts but what you have in desserts they did not mention it this is the one part that how a end user can order this is called catalog management more more accurate you do more precise you do more people will able to order will able to see a number of times i got a feedback 
Atul, you are putting the trainings on the YouTube. That's good. Please do some fancy thumbnails or do some fancy um, starting music, ending music. I said, boss, sorry. I don't have this much time and I don't have that much skill. Because if you publicize it in a good manner, you will get students as well. I said, that's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. So the first part is called the catalog that where this particular record is staying. Because remember in service now everything is staying in the table. To create this, you need some, but you need a particular. But I can say table place. And to proceed on this record. You need some place. So when I talk about this particular stuff in this two things are there. Number one is. Catalogs how and where you are defining your catalogs. Or we can say that these are the definitions. From where a user can order and these are the instances. One item in the evening. Surbhi and family went for the dinner. They are not the only one who are ordering the mocktails or the same or lemonade something. There are another 30, 40 families are staying sitting in this particular place and almost 20%, 30%, 40% are ordering lemonade. So these are the instances. When I talk about the definition, we have a four table catalog. Category item and order guide. We will go in the order guide later. On. But when I talk about the instances, then I have a request item and task. See. Request. Item. And. Task. And this task is called the SC task. So we have a I task, we have a P task, we have a C, C task, we have a R task and now we have a SC task. Because actual thing, actual work will be done on task level only. So now let's understand the concept of this particular funda. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Arthur, could you repeat uh, please uh, quickly the difference? Uh, the, um, the instance and what? Uh, the instance. what? Okay. So definition says that from where a user can order. Uh, I can okay. say definition means where you are storing that information that accessible to user. OK, mm -hmm. like your you return something in your menu card. Mm -hmm. Is your definition. Okay. OK, or let's say you are running a you are running a, a restaurant. Will you be having. 100 type of different catalog items for the different a hundred type of different catalogs for different customers. No. You have, you have only maximum two or three catalogs. One for drinks, one for main course, and maybe one for childs or main for kids. This is what the definition. In a single day, you got hundred of customers and hundred customers out of hundred customers, 90 customers order the lemonade. As a drink. Those are the instance. Because everybody using the same catalog, same category and order the same item. And you are your chef is doing the same process. Either it is a one lemon and order and it is a, like it is a hundredth lemon and order. Same way. Get the cold water, get the get the soda, get lemon, get ice, get salt. Cut it, put it, squeeze it, mix it, and serve it. Trick clear now? Yes, thank you. Now let's as as we are here, let's understand this part as well. 
in the service request, as I already informed that number one is called the request. You Surbi and family is sitting on a table, not table on a chairs. OK, they order something. Let's say they order seven items. The overall is called the order number. That is called the request. Because they will not they will not swipe their card item by item. OK, how much for uh, uh, this one? Dal makhani, ma'am, five pound. OK, let's swipe it. How much for lemonade? Ma'am, two pound. Let's swipe it. No. Request is one. Table number seven, table number eight request it. Under that, when they order the different different items, that called the RITM level. Lemonade is one, paneer is one, dal bakhani is one, biryani is one. Because to make that item, the task can be different. So same example, same words. I'm coming back that making the steps of lemonade is lemonade is different than the making step of the biryani. In biryani, you can put water, but never put the soda. In lemonade, you can put soda or water, but you can put the rice. Right? So this is what the last hierarchy says. Actual work has been done on the task level. And rest are the recording purpose. And remember that when we discuss about service catalog versus record producer, in the service catalog at a given point of time, two records can generate it. One is request, one is item. In the record, it is only one item get generated. In the record producer, only one item get generated. OK, now let's understand very interesting part here. Let's come here and search for the tables. Let's discuss about this thing because I'm interested on this. Not this. This is I'll, I'll show you later, but interested on this part. It will be it will be tough to be get this thing. So I'll I'll go table by table. S underscore request. This is what. The table SC underscore request extended from the task table itself. Open it. Because these are the three different tables. These three are the three different tables which work in a manner. So under the request, I come here and see the data structure. Schema, not structure, schema. Feeling sleepy type. Not sure why. This is this coming from the task table and request for new knowledge base is using this request one. Now let's understand more. Come to the reference table. This one. This table is referenced by these tables as well. And if I go to the referencing one that who are using or who are be referencing this, you can see they say under the catalog task, I'll get a request. Under the recurring price, I get a request. Knowledge base, I'll get this thing. Order get, I can get this thing. This is what item. Why? Because if you see here, when we click on the item, we have a field called the request as well. So it is referencing that. It is referencing that nothing nothing much to be worried on that but nothing much to be go in the deep dive understand this concept catalog sorry request s underscore req request item s underscore req underscore item and task sc task uh wow, this is re sorry sc underscore task 
Yes, a standard code task. It's a table name. This has been extended from the task table. Okay. This, this is the main thing which we need to be understand. And now if I go to this one, catalog one, as underscore catalog, let's come here. Come on, okay. Let me go back here and open it from not this one table and SC underscore this one. And this has been extended from the application file, not from the task table. Important. What is application file? I have no idea as of now. Okay. So I have a catalog, I have a category, I have an item, and I have an order guide. Important, these two things are important from the examination perspective. Okay. Clear everybody till this point. Any doubt, any question? Tell me any doubt, any question. Survi, Tejas, Samira, and Farah. No. Okay. No, 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 let's understand the, the overall is clear. Thank you. Oh, okay, good. Now let's understand about the role. Who is playing what role in this particular module? Mainly five or six role has been involved here, if I say. OK, but. Little difference when we go in the deep dive as well. Overall, I have a requester. Who can request? To use the catalog items. Practically. Really sorry, practically there's a no role required. As an end user, I can go. To go to a restaurant, do you need to be a member of the restaurant or the owner of the restaurant? No, anybody can go and and have anything. So, requester is the person who requests that I need this, 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 this thing. Then the catalog manager who manages the catalog from the operational perspective. Like if I give example. I was I was stuck but I, mean, I, I forget the website. I, I stuck. I was doing some navigation on the website and I stuck. OK, so there was an option called. Chat with the expert. I said OK. Again, virtual agent, I open that. It asked me the question. Name, surname, email ID. And your topic for the discussion. I press enter. And chat get started. When this my chat get connected with the actual agent. He asked the same question. Give me your email ID. I thought why you need my email ID you already given it, right? Then why you need it is a mission again. This is what this person do. How I can make my catalogs efficient. I'll give you an example. If you go to the restaurant, sometimes there are the few items. I'm saying items. Which has been mentioned in the three different places. Same item will be in somewhere mocktail. Same item will be in the cocktail as well. Or maybe let's say in the normal drinks as well. If you're so intelligent, you will find it. Boss, what is the difference between these two? Oh, sorry, sir. There's no difference. It is just uh, by mistake we have done. So 
this person is responsible that how I can make the resolution of my service catalog issues. Quick. It should not stuck. It should not be so ambiguous. It should not be so lengthy. This is what this catalog manager do. And what role he has? He has a role or she has a role called catalog underscore manager. Then the catalog editor. Who can edit this thing I'm saying? Who can edit this catalogs? This catalogs, this place. Who can edit this catalog? The person who has a role called the catalog editor or catalog builder admin can do this part. He can he or she can add anything in the catalog. He he or she can update anything or modify anything, or he or she can retire any catalog item but he cannot do alone he or she need the approval from the or support from the catalog manager and the service owner remember the day one concept service owner process owner this is what we are saying then the request management manager his work is from the delivery side If a request has been raised, it should be get fulfilled in the three days. Why is taking time? Why it has been stuck? Why it get escalated? Why it's been not fulfilled on the time? Why it was not fulfilled correctly? This is what this person job. And he or she has a role called the catalog underscore admin. And finally, like in the change, we have approval. Here also we have approval called the approval underscore user. Let me do. Let me give you a homework. OK. Create one user. Give them a ITL role. And add that user in any of the cab in an in the cab approval group of the change. OK. Raise a change. Normal change. Make sure that change go in the authorized state. So that cab approval should trigger. Now impersonate with that user. To whom you just give the ITL role and see are you able to approve that change or not? Intention to know. That can an ITL user approve a request or not? If I did not provide the prover underscore user role specifically. Try to do this part. Generally, it is a myth. What my understanding say that to approve any request to approve any change, a user must have approval and approval role. A IT user can also approve, but try it at your side. OK, so now coming on this part again. So who approve? Is this particular rule is available? OK, now in this thing, two things are important to understand. Number one, these are the few of the rules which work from the catalog side. See, don't get confused if we are here, so definitely Few rules applicable for this, few rules applicable for this. Because this particular module is a combination of two different mod two different concepts, catalog and the request. This is catalog, this is a request. So catalog, these two are the rules. For request, these three are the rule. One, two, and three are the rule. Because when when you when you go in this particular training, there you will get a complete table as well that who can work or who can create catalog, who can delete catalog. I'm not saying item, I'm saying about the catalog. This thing, who can delete this complete catalog? Who can create the categories? Who can update the category? Who can delete the categories? These things, these two are the categories: mobile and hardware. Who can update 
item who can remove item who can delete item i'm talking about this thing mainly catalog admin this role it's gone this one if this particular person has this role can do almost everything which we discussed it can so it's not catalog admin it's a uh, yeah it's catalog admin right catalog admin okay this thing now if i go to the next part is basically request this thing can raise a request right who can update the request who can delete the requested item requested item not i'm saying the maintain item i'm saying requested item then i can say multiple rules are there let me let me go and show something if i can get it user admin rules uh, because there is no common word like we have incident the change okay few are there so catalog catalog admin catalog builder catalog editor catalog manager these are the roles available okay so so like if, as i said that because i don't i i cannot create that a big table which i learned when i was doing this training but overall picture says that few things which you will which you will able to know when you go for the training specifically on the role part and all, always remember that during the examination question can be come on the roles that who can do this 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 particular stuff or who cannot do this 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 particular stuff or they can give you some things and say okay which role is required to do these things okay so two different things one is for the catalog and one is for the request and when i say when i talk about the request i am talking about the fulfillment process that what roles are required to fulfill a request clear everybody till this point any doubt any question it now question come atul uh, atul go ahead para yeah so here yeah, just um, uh, difference between uh, can you go back to the slide of the rules please yes uh, catalog manager and request management manager catalog manager is um, uh, the aim is the catalog in in in, 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 in okay. itself uh, yeah it is it is like catalog manager is like your restaurant manager who makes sure that all the items which is required to serve should work properly and request manager is the one like a lower below than the restaurant manager maybe i can say waiter managers whose work is to make sure that all the items should be delivered on time billing should be done on time cleaning should be done on times this is what this particular part do because catalog manager means who can work on these things on this catalog that what item should come here what category should be come here A request management request manager come when the request get raised and try to be fulfillment go for the fulfillment part. That is I am saying. You have to be clear your mind in these two things, one and two. When I say the catalog manager, I am talking about this thing for these four concepts. 
how to optimize, how to make it effect effective usage. And this thing. Request manager. Let's say if any third party hire me and say Atul, can you provide trainings for our students? We will give you the fees. Don't ask to the students. They are doing like catalog manager. They will make sure that they utilize me properly. If I'm facing any technical issue, any logistic issue, I can reach out to them. That boss, I'm facing this issue. Can you rectify it? They make the agenda very clearly. And I am working as a request manager. To sort out the query which customer, sorry, which user is facing, the students are facing. Why they're not understanding, why they're not coming on the time. Why I'm taking this much time for this particular topic and all things. This is what the request manager. Two separate modules, two separate people to maintain these things. Building manager is one. Or I can say complete society manager is one. And in a simple in a single society, I have a seven towers. And every tower has a manager. Is the separate. This is what the difference between these two roles. These people, this person work from the operational side of these things. These things. Catalogs. This person work from the operational side of. These things record perspective. Clear for a. Doubt. Yes, it's clear, clear. Thank you. Good. Okay, now we'll not move forward. Okay, we'll we'll take it to the topic tomorrow again. Any last question before I close the recording here, guys? Let me. Could be Samira, Farah, and Tejas. After a long time, everybody's in the class. Happy to see. Good, let me stop the recording.